Hi, this is Anne with Graphic Design How To, and today I'm going to show you how to cut and roll a rolled paper flower with your Cricut machine. And this is actually an excerpt from my Skillshare class, which there are a couple of ways to take that for free. And I'll leave some links in the description to show you how to do that. Now, if you enroll in this class, you'll get access to three little rolled flower templates. But if you don't want to enroll, you can also search online, search Google for something like rolled paper flower template SVG file or something like that. And you can just use one of those instead. The process will be pretty much exactly the same. All right, let's get started. Okay, so I've opened Cricut Design Space and I'm just gonna go ahead and make a new project. I'll come down here to upload and then I'm going to upload image and I'll choose browse. Then I'll navigate to my downloads. Here are my exercise files, and this time I'll navigate to my flower2.svg in the exercise files. And I'll open that. This looks good, so I'll upload. Now I'll click on that, and we'll be able to see the little icon right down here, and I'll add to canvas. I'll make sure that I'm clicked on my file so that I see these four controls. And I can also see the size. I want this to be about five and a half inches wide. So I'm gonna get down here on the scale tool and usually your little lock right up here on size will be locked. And that's what we want because we want it to size proportionally. So make sure that's locked if it's not. If it isn't, you can just click it to make sure it's in a locked position. Now I'm going to click and drag until this is about five and a half inches wide. That looks good, it doesn't have to be perfect, but of course, if we want it to be exactly 5.5, we can get in here and type it in and then hit return or enter. Okay, so this is looking good. Now I'll make sure that my machine is on and open and it's connected my computer the way it should be. Also, I wanna make sure that this is set to cardstock. And next, we'll load the mat. I'll put the cardstock at zero, zero on my mat and then I'll press it on there with my hands. Next, I'll load it into my machine. I'll use these two little tabs and put it right up against the roller and then hit the load button on my machine right here. And then I'll come back to Cricut Design Space and choose Make It. I'll change my material size to eight and a half by 11 and this looks good. And then I'll continue. This time my machine connected right away and it's asking me to change the base material to cardstock, which I've already done. I've already loaded my material this time and now all I have to do is press go. And that's this flashing button right here, so I'll press it. All right, so my machine is finished, so I'll hit the unload button to release the mat. Okay, our next step is to take our scraper tool and start removing the outer cardstock. And it doesn't look like I really need my scraper tool for much. I can just peel this off and it just peels right off nicely. So that is pretty sweet. A mm, little bit stuck on there. There we go. And now I'll use my scraper tool to get the actual flower template off of the mat. You wanna keep your tool more on the inside of the template instead of out here like this. Because if you go out here, you're going to run into this where you almost cut this or maybe you do accidentally rip it. That would not be good. And this is much smaller, so I wanna be even more careful. Now I'm going to start rolling this one in too. So I'm rolling it towards the center from the outside. And I'm just gonna speed up most of the video because I already covered this in the first roll flower we did. Now, once we get toward the middle here, it gets a little harder to roll these around. Um, just do your best. Kind of bent that right there. So that's probably not good, but it probably won't hurt either. So now we're ready to start rolling this up from the center of the flower. So I'm gonna use my tweezers and I'll just hold on to this. 
and tightly, tightly roll it. My tweezers are actually a little too big for this part, so I'm going to just do it by hand. And this is pretty hard to do because it's so small. But now that I've got it started, it's going much more quickly. Okay, so here's what we've got. So now I'm going to go ahead and just fold out our edges. This flower doesn't want to line up like the other one did, like all the petals lining up in order. So that's kind of nice. And this flower also doesn't catch on itself like the other one did. And this one, actually, I think we're good to go. I don't need to unroll and roll it more. I think it looks really nice as is. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this. Okay, so I've got my hot glue gun warmed up and I'm just going to turn this over. And I'll go just one time across the base like this and then press this down and that's it our little flower is done and here's the underside all right I hope this video was helpful for you if you liked it and you want to see more videos like this just click on the subscribe button and the little bell next to it and you'll be notified every time a new video comes out all right I'll see you in the next video thank you